forest habitats are a type of terrestrial habitat that is dominated by trees. They have the most trees of any habitats. In many forest habitats, the animals have adapted to becoming arboreal or spending their lives up in the trees. This boa constrictor, for example, spends the younger, smaller years of its life up in the trees being arboreal to avoid certain predators that might eat them in the forests where they're found. And as they get larger and older, they'll actually be too heavy for the trees to support, so they'll spend the majority of their lives, or the remainder of their lives, on the grounds. Where they have perfect camouflage to help them blend in to the surrounding environment in those forest habitats. Squirrels are another arboreal forest animal spending majority of their lives up in trees, staying safe from predators and finding food. They venture to the forest floor only occasionally, and they have amazing camouflage to help them blend in to the different forest habitats that they can be found in around Earth. And the largest forest predator, the tiger, perhaps one of the most feared in all of the forests, are also adapted to survive in those habitats by having stripes going down their body to help camouflage them into their environments. It helps break up their pattern so other animals can't see them when they're hunting. Animals like these deer have to worry about tigers eating them, so they also have camouflage to help blend into their habitats. They're also very fast animals and have very large ears to help them hear an animal such as a tiger trying to creep up and ambush them in forest habitats. Because of the dense vegetation in forest habitats, many predators like tigers are ambush hunters for animals like these deer. Chameleons survive in forest habitats like our veiled chameleon Archie here and have incredible adaptations that allow them to survive in these tree-filled habitats. They have great camouflage and are not easily seen by animals like snakes or birds that might want to eat them. That camouflage also helps them hide from things like insects that they want to eat as they slowly sneak up on a bug before quickly shooting out its tongue to ambush its food. Let's head over to our next cool habitat. Grassland habitats are terrestrial habitats that don't get too much rain, so not a lot of trees grow, and they're primarily made of grass. Thanks so much again for watching our video on forest habitats, video number six in the series, Animal Habitats and Survival. Look out for the next habitat, our last habitat, grasslands where I'll get down and dirty picking through some poop to tell you how important it is for other animals. We'll meet the largest land animal on Earth today. Great conclusion to come after that. Hope you enjoy. Thanks so much again. Until then, keep being good to our world and all the animals in it.